Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's only video. We're going to have a look at the weather. Now, today's 14 days for today's only video. So day 10 will take us to the 18th of October. Uh, we'll be able to send over your map with the SNHF Airs and ECM Ensembles. They are running to around a couple of weeks. Have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video, of course, for the next four weeks. Gets us into early November. I'll get on that for you in a moment. Just say there was 6am forecast uh, this morning. Weather's well, turned very quiet, so uh, we may back up a little bit on the 6 a.m. forecast over the uh, next few days but i'll see we will still do them uh, perhaps every other day or something anyway please like share and subscribe on this video i'm going to be live at 8 p.m for channel members so as your channel member check into your first october channel member live here at 8 p.m and i shall see you there uh, about 30 subscribers, 25 to 30, gets us to uh, 20.6k. So, quick us up, that'd be amazing. Thank you so much, everyone. Right, going to start off in the top of the Atlantic. So, it's uh, Euro X here. We don't have to worry about that. 10% chart site rotation here in the next uh, 48 uh, hours and seven days. That's going to be dying death moves in land across um, Central America. We have got Trouble Storm Jerry giving maximum sustained winds of 60 mile per hour as well. Clicking on Jerry going here and see if it's going to become or predicted to become a hurricane, a category one hurricane actually, as we move into the end of the week and pushing northwards um, through the weekend to the beginning of next week. We'll keep you updated. Latest weather map of NorthSchool.net shows that we've got uh, low pressure north, high pressure to the south today. Uh, a classic setup of this ridge is on its way northwards in the next few days. Session temperature is currently sitting at 13.3. So that's 2.8 degrees above 61 to 90, 90 average. That's provisional to uh, yesterday, to the 7th of October. These are the GFS of red temperature interpretation ensembles. Next couple of weeks, we're rugby today. The red line is the third year upper air temperature average for rugby. So we're starting off above average with the upper air temperatures at the back. Keep, keep them above average as well as we approach mid-month. But a cool down occurring into the middle and second half of October. You'll notice the uh, thick green line here actually becoming quite cold at um, uh, one point around the middle part of the month. It's a cold outlier probably. Um, although there are other ensembles going in that direction as well. It's certainly at the cold at end of range. So, um, Jeff at 6, I did turn quite cold. You'll see how that happens uh, in a moment. Well, if we have a look at precipitation, a lot of dry weather to come over the uh, next uh, 10 days. We could see more in the way of precipitation, though, as we move on into the uh, final sort of, well, or up towards the final week of the month. That's a long way off, though, and therefore it's extended range and unreliable. Temperature anomaly, next five days, uh, looking above average of uh, many parts of the country, but only slightly. Day of 14, Debo goes below average with the GEFS. And precipitation uh, anomaly, next seven days, 15th of October, most places dry up normal. 8 to 14 day, also looks rather dry and average as well. Right, let's start again from chart day to be our latest UK met. You're right, talking big night on Saturday. High pressure builds up from the south, bringing a lot of dry, fine, and warm weather. We're about high pressure sits over the top of the country through weekend to start of next week. We are high and dry as well. So by the middle of next week, high pressure somewhere between Iceland and Norway. Around that, we bring the wind in from more of an easterly uh, direction. 1,040 millibars, so it's quite an intense area of high pressure. Now that easily probably starts to drag in uh, cooler air uh, from the east and from the north as well. But the main issue, the main thing, will be uh, very dry conditions for the next uh, week, with many places getting no measurable rain. I can't, again, have has that high pressure in control and dominating the weather for the weekend, lasting into the beginning of next week as well. It's all high pressure, high pressure, high pressure up to the middle of next week at 1,030 millibars. What about the KMA? That also with high pressure in control and in the ascendancy until around or just after actually uh, day 10 when we have hints of re retrogression of the high pressure out into the Atlantic up towards Greenland and that looks like it's about to, it's poised to about to uh, drop in a cold northerly blast. 
I wonder. <laughs> well, moving on to the GFS midnight run again. High pressure dominating the weather into the weekend, bringing a lot of dry, fine conditions with it. That high pressure lasts into the beginning part of next week as well. It's all high pressure, high pressure, high pressure. In fact, high pressure lasts. Ching! <laughs> Imagine if I've been paid uh, a fiver to say a high pressure. So the anticyclone, the way of saying high pressure, ching, um, lasts <laughs> to the end of next week, that's next Friday. And uh, even beyond day 10, high pressure still in control. But, 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 signs of it going into retrograde right at the very end of the run. So eventually, heights uh, move up towards Greenland, Iceland, and down potentially comes this quite cold north or northeastern, with minus five cells iceberg moving southwards into Scotland there. Also, low pressure over to south as that pushes northwards, could bring some heavy rain across England and Wales. So, turning cold, wet potentially into the last week of October there. Big change. The GFS 6Z, again, that high pressure in control and in the ascendancy who we can intercept next week. It's all high pressure, high pressure, high pressure. High pressure dominating the scene right up to day 10. Uh, cut off low down towards Spain and Portugal. Could bring some very wet weather through to there. Uh, but otherwise, high pressure is in control. In the extended range of GFS 6M, again, some colder air start trickling down from the north there for the third week of October before low pressure eventually rolls in and brings wet and windy weather in with it. So, again, the second half of October, a lot more changeable compared to the anticyclonic first half of the month. But it is, of course, a very long way out that. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe. Make sure to share everyone for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gals. Well, get to subscribe too. Make sure to share everyone for doing that. And, of course, you can consider... Uh, snapping up a gals web is calendar if you want to help support the channel financially and you know get something back as well so uh the calendar is on sale now it uh, retails at 13 pounds that's 10 pounds for the calendar three pounds postage and packaging and uh all you need to do is send that 13 pounds one free to our paypal account you can sign in to your paypal account via uh, this page, it's Gasworth, this PayPal, and uh, so sign into your PayPal account, and uh, then send £13 over to us, we will get the calendar out to you, and we thank you so much everyone uh, for doing that, so lots of uh, units so far, we've still got plenty of them to sell, so uh, snap yourself up a calendar, and uh, we thank you so much everyone for uh, doing that. Okay, GM, again, high pressure dominates the weather, across the uh, UK and West Europe free weekend, lasting into uh, next week as well. It's all a high pressure all the way up to day 10. Um, so, I mean, some places will have no measurable rain in the next 10 days, undoubtedly. And then the ECM rounding it all off, high pressure at 1,035 millibars sitting over the top of the country on Saturday. Still there and dominated weather into next week as well. High pressure, high pressure, high pressure, high pressure. Now, we get into a very extended range, though, beyond day 10. And again, the ECM also has uh, signs and hints of retrogression of the heights to Greenland and ice with low pressure rolling in underneath it. That brings the wind around to a colder northerly or northeasterly, so turning cold and wet potentially there into the uh, third or the end of the third week above heading up towards the last week above that gets us to uh, the 23rd of october as far as we get to with the ecm we're bringing in that cold chilly anyway north northeast wind and with low pressure cell there could be wet weather involved in that as well this this precipitation forecast based on the ecm run from spread.com all the way out to day 10 or only out to day 10, I should say. And, uh, well, we won't dwell on that too long, because basically there's not going to be any precipitation <laughs> uh, to speak of much over the next 10 days. These are the yachts on the table within the ECM Ensemble today for day 10. The Icelandic Met Office gets us to the 18th of October. 27 members of the ECM Ensemble's high pressure right over the top of the country, and 24 with high pressure 
just hinting at going into retrograde out to the northwest. So that might bring the wind around to the north of a north or a north easterly. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. And it gets us to the 23rd of October. 26 members of the ECM ensembles take high pressure Greenland. 12 low pressure underneath it, cold and wet. We've got 16 high pressure ridging through the UK into the North Atlantic, where to drive at Chile. And then we've got nine up with high pressure between Iceland and Scotland, mainly dry, but winds coming in from the east there. And um, the CFS rounds it all off, so uh, a beta 500 millibar high thermometer broke it down into week periods. The first week period will take us from the 8th to 14th of October. Next week we'll have high pressure dominating the weather. Week 2 is going to be the 15th uh, to... Oh, come on, highlighter. We'll be the 15th to the 21st of October. High pressure over and to the northwest of the country. Mainly dry again. Could be a bit cooler, but winds coming in from the north and the northeast. Week three is going to be the 22nd, 28th of October. High pressure in retrograde. Retrograde for high pressure Greenland. Top low pressure to the north and northeast brings in a cold north northeasterly flow, or certainly chilling. And then uh, week four, we'll round it all off as a 29th of October to 4th of November. High pressure towards Greenland, low pressure to Scandinavia. Wind probably still coming in for chilly northern direction. Could this, despite warm start, be our first uh, cool of an average month since January? Mm, wouldn't that be interesting? But uh, long way to go yet. So we see. Time to tell. Right, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you like this, all my videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Weathers and get them to subscribe too. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. About 25 per subscribers gets us to uh, 20.6k. And please consider snapping every Gals Weathers Canada. You'll be able to support the channel if you do that. I'm live with channel members at 8 pm this evening. So, if you're a channel member, like, channel member check in to your channel member live stream. I'll say hello to you all. Um, that's going to be uh, a lot of fun later on. For this video, Bo, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.